Stefan here. Welcome back for another video. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. Let's talk about Apple. So Apple just announced the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro and the new Apple Watch Series 5. Let's talk about uh, iPhone 11 first. So iPhone 11 is the iPhone XR from the last year. The only difference is the iPhone 11 uh, comes with the secondary camera, which is a wide angle, which is a pretty good uh, for most of you. If you like wide angle experience, videos, pictures, this is a pretty good upgrade. It's the same display from the last year, a 720p, which is a, I think it's a disappointment. Um, the only difference is the camera. Also, we have the new 13 Bionic chip from the Apple, which is about 15 to 20% more faster. Also, there's a, a upgrade for the front facing camera. Now you can do slow motion videos. It's a 12 megapixel slow motion videos on the front facing camera. Apple also announced the new uh, night uh, mode. So let's see if the Apple are good uh, enough uh, to compare with the Pixel devices and the Huawei devices. So, Bionic 13, faster, night sight, uh, also the 12 megapixel upgrade uh, uh, for the front facing camera. Uh, they're claiming one hour uh, more from the last year iPhone XR. Uh, this due to the uh, new Bionic 13, uh, which kicks off the power uh, efficiency, which is a pretty good. And let's talk about now the iPhone uh, 11 Pro. Uh, the display's uh, been, uh, it's a little bit more brighter. Uh, there's no changes. The only difference is the camera. Like I said, uh, I already talked about the new uh, Bionic 13, which is a more faster front facing uh, uh, slow motion, 12 megapixel. The iPhone 11 Pro now comes with uh, uh, additional third camera, which is a ultra, ultra wide angle, uh, which is a pretty good, uh, if you like more, uh, more uh, ultra wide angle experience, you can do that as well. Uh, pretty much that's it. I mean, they're claiming about four or five hours more than the last year with the new uh, Bionic 13. Let's see if this is true. Um, I'm going to be happy to see that as well. And pretty much that's it. I mean, there's no massive, massive changes. Uh, we'll talk about it in a different video if you're thinking to upgrade. Uh, they also announced the new uh, Series 5 uh, smartwatch from Apple. The new Apple Watch Series 5 now is being announced as well. So there's a change. There's no big changes. I mean... Uh, the only change is now they uh, they announced that the Apple Watch Series 5 new feature uh, always on display, which is uh, actually pretty good. They're claiming the same power efficiency, about 18 hours, the same as the Series 4 from the last year. Uh, and this is pretty much it. I mean, uh, there's no massive changes. We'll talk about it in a different video if you need to upgrade uh, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 uh, Pro, I mean, I understand that they name it Pro, but uh, what is the difference? I mean, I already talked about the differences, but what is missing? Well, reverse charging is missing. Uh, Type-C is missing. Uh, I mean, this is things that you need every day. Um, so let me know what you think about uh, the video. Let me, let me know. If you're thinking to upgrade, probably I'm going to do a different video about that. Um, if it's your first time here, subscribe. My name is Stefan and I'm going to see you in my next video.